Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. So in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing everything I ate last week while I was on the keto diet. But first, if this is your first time watching me, hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Gia and I have been on and off keto for about two years now and I've been sharing the ups and the downs of my journey all on my YouTube channel. I would love for you to join my YouTube family by clicking the subscribe button down below as well as the little bell next to it. And for those already subscribed, welcome back. So this video footage of me is my goal-ish look. I'm gonna say goal-ish weight. Um, so once a month, I'm going to be posting my updates in my bikini and I'll weigh in. Um, and then every week I'll share exactly what I'm eating, what time I eat it, how much I'm drinking, everything like that, all the details. But this is my goalish look. This was me in October of 2018. And I want to get back to there and see how I feel then. So let's get started to see what I ate this week. Good morning, friends. It is 7 a.m. And I have my coffee here. I'm not going to drink this till hmm, after eight, though. I have to take the kids to the to school, so I'll just let this. It gets really hot. In my it stays really hot in my um, Yeti. In my coffee today, I have organic unsweetened coconut milk. I have this power creamer, pumpkin spice. It makes you get ready for fall, and um, liquid stevia. I have, like just about two to three drops. Cause this is a little bit sweetened, but it's not um, very sweet. It's just ghee, MCT oil, like flavored ghee and MCT oil. So, yep, no proteins. And it has like 14 grams of fat in one tablespoon. That's how much I put in. So I really like this. This is linked in my um, Amazon store. All right, so I usually don't eat breakfast this early, but I'm going to today because I'm not gonna have time to cook breakfast later here I have about a tablespoon of butter in this pan I'm about to fry myself and my husband an egg we have two pieces of bacon we're gonna go ahead and eat this um, and just get our day started a fried egg with some everything bagel seasoning is my jam okay girl is my jam so um, yep we're just gonna fry this up here I'll probably add a half a piece of cheese to that and we'll be good to go. So it's about 1140. I'm about to fill up my Yeti cup or my second jug of water for the morning, but I am kind of hungry. So I'm going to eat this half of a bagel. I meant to eat this for breakfast, but I just forgot and ate my fried egg and two pieces of bacon. So I'm going to toast this. I made these last week. I love having keto bagels um, in the fridge for breakfast. It really does keep me full. Um, sometimes if I'm not that hungry, I'll just eat a half of, a half of an egg, but um, I'm going to stop eating for the day at around 3 o'clock. We have a workout today um, at around 5.30, so I want to make sure I eat enough for that as well. And here we have it. Yummy. Okay, it's around 2.21. It is time for lunch slash dinner, which is this is going to be my last meal of the day. And so I didn't feel like having a smoothie today, so I just made myself a, a salad with mostly spinach and some mixed greens. And I'm going to add the same things that I would add to my smoothie to my salad, just so I can get my fats in. So I'm going to add some chia seeds, some um, flax seed. This, this is a uh, milled... Um, Black seed, and my favorite, which are hemp hearts. Love, love, love hemp hearts. So I'm gonna add these in, and I'm gonna use some um, Caesar dressing. And here is what I'm having to eat. I cannot wait to eat. I snuck a few carrots on there. I made pot roast last night, some collard greens, and some cauliflower mashed potatoes. Really, it's just frozen um, diced cauliflower with a little bit of sour cream and butter in it. And it's just my version, a quick version. So I'm gonna eat this as well as my salad. And yeah, this is it. Also on my third cup of water, um, this is a 32 ounce Yeti. So I try to drink five of these a day. So I'll drink two more before I go to bed. All right. I'm getting ready to break my fast, y'all. It's 8.55 and I'm not gonna lie, I am ready for this coffee. I was just dreaming about it, thinking about it on the whole ride to school. So, mm. I did my full 18 hour fast and I had I volunteered at my girl's school this morning so I'm drinking my coffee later than usual so but you know I'm gonna do another 18 fast 18 hour fast today it's 10 7 it's breakfast time 
I'm really hungry, so I'm ready to eat this keto bagel, two pieces of bacon, a fried egg with a piece of cheese, and yummy, can't wait to eat. It's about 2.21, I'm gonna go ahead and eat my last meal of the day. I feel really hungry because I haven't drank as much water today. This is only my second cup, and like I said, I like to do five of these a day. Um, that's a good day. Some days it's just four, but I at least like to do five. So I am feeling a little dehydrated, which is why I'm hungry. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and then start my fast. Time for a little dessert, y'all. So I'm going to have these Shark Talk Nuggets. These are the bomb.com. These will come through for you when you need, want something sweet. They have four net carbs in a third of a cup. I'm not gonna have a third of a cup. I'm just gonna have a couple, um, a little bit, maybe a half of a cluster. I started my fast after I ate, and so, yep. Good morning, friends. So I just broke my fast by drinking my coffee, and I'm going to end my fast here. It is, what time is it? It's 8.48. The coffee was really good. So I'm not hungry right now. I'm just going to make sure to hydrate with my water. And then um, I'll eat a late breakfast. All right, y'all. So I'm starving right now. The time is 11:47. It's kind of late for me to be eating my breakfast, but I made this keto oatmeal um, a couple days ago. And all it is is it's two tablespoons of hemp hearts, one tablespoon of chia seeds, and to this I'm going to add oops, some almond butter one teaspoon of almond butter and this keto nut granola this is so good you guys they sent me this company low carb sent me this their nut granola to try and it is absolutely delicious it has a um cinnamon nutmeg flavor so it it's so good and i even eat it as cereal with just uh coconut milk it's really good so i'm gonna add some of that and I may add a few almonds, and then that'll be my, I guess, brunch for today. And there we have it. There's so many different variations you can do with this. Like sometimes I like to add blueberries, some unsweetened um, coconut flakes, but I think there's some coconut flakes in this granola here, but it smells so good. Um, the almond butter definitely thickens it up um, if you like a little bit of a thicker consistency. So I'm gonna go ahead and eat this and I know it'll be filling. All right, my final meal of the day is we're eating the last of the pot roast, some green beans and a spinach salad, just trying to get those greens in. Um, it's a little bit later because, um, you know, I had that uh, keto oatmeal or note meal, whatever you wanna call it, and I stay really full from that. So um, it's 2.51, but I'm, I'm not starving. Like I can go longer, but I don't want to wait any longer. I do try to have my last meal right at three o'clock. Even if you're not keto, that's so good for your digestive system to have enough time to digest your food um, so that when you go to sleep at night, you can really sleep and your body's not working trying to digest food. So I find it's really helpful for me because I sleep a lot better. So anyway, <laughs> let me go ahead and eat. Happy Thursday, friends. Right now it is 6.59. I'm not going to drink my Bulletproof coffee. I make my Bulletproof coffee the same way every day with the... Um, pumpkin spice um, coffee creamer, or it's really just MCT oil and ghee. But I'm not gonna drink this until around 8.20. Quick breakfast for today, one egg with um, a half a piece of cheddar cheese and a sausage, and I'm gonna add a few almonds here, um, and then I'll have dinner late, shortly. I'm really hungry, it's one o'clock, actually 1.13, so I'm gonna have some keto nut granola as a keto cereal with my unsweetened coconut milk. I really like this stuff. It has 16 grams of fat, 10 carbs, but um, four sugar alcohols and four dietary fiber. So it's two net grams in a third of a cup. So that's what I'm gonna eat right now. Here's my cereal. I'm so happy to be able to eat cereal on keto. A healthy cereal, yummy. After all that preaching I did earlier about eating by three o'clock, here I am eating late, but you know what? Life happens, y'all, and it, today was just that day for me. So it is six o'clock, and I did not cook, so we picked up Jamaican food from our local restaurant. This is jerk chicken and cabbage. I don't have them put the sauce on it. I used to eat the sauce as a treat, but the sauce is pretty sweet, so I try not to um, <clears throat> have, have them pour it all over the chicken, but um, um, I am gonna eat the plantains. I don't care. Well, I care, but you know, it's just two plantains. It's not gonna, you know, kill anything, so. And I'm gonna eat the cabbage, so I'm really hungry, so let me go ahead and eat. 
So on Friday, I went on a school field trip. I chaperoned at my daughter's school, so I did not film at all. But all I had was my Bulletproof coffee, the keto note meal that I showed earlier in the vlog, the same thing, and then I had some lemon pepper wings that evening. I did end up eating late. My whole schedule was off because of the field trip. So I drank my coffee in the morning. At around 2.30, I had my keto note meal, and around six, I had the lemon pepper wings, as well as a side garden salad. I'm sorry friends, I did not show you my breakfast, but it was just two fried eggs and two pieces of bacon and that was at around 10.30. It is now 3.14 and I'm getting hungry. So I have a few almonds and some of my keto friendly chocolate clusters. I'm menstruating so I just want chocolate all the time. That may be TMI, but I'm just letting you know. But So for dinner for tonight, I have some wings. I'm really hungry, it's 5.39 and a salad. Good morning friends, happy Sunday. I'm gonna be making myself some keto pancakes today. I have never tried this recipe from Keto Chicks. I love Keto Chicks uh, Instagram. Um, it's really good. She makes a lot of amazing looking keto, especially on um, like um, desserts. So um, she made this, she calls them hot cakes. They're like Japanese hot cakes, but they look very similar to um, Pancake, so I'm assuming it's like a sweeter pancake, uh, like an American version of a pancake. So here's the recipe, screenshot it, and this is what I'm gonna do. I do not have any co coconut flour, so that's the only thing that I'm gonna keep out. And I also have coconut milk instead of almond milk, so I just have to do what I gotta do to make it work. Okay, I messed up on the instructions and just kind of sifted everything and then um, sifted all the dry ingredients. Then I just added the wet ingredients to the dry ingredients instead of mixing all the wet ingredients together and then combining it. But oh well, girl, we're just gonna have to make it work. It's a little runny, but um, again, I'm just going to have to make this work. It smells very, very good. Very good. We'll say that. And um, yeah, I got my pan waiting. And I'm just, it's, she said to let the batter like rest for 10 minutes. And so that's what I'm doing while the pan is warming up. And so I try to thicken it up a little bit by just adding a little bit more. I took like a mixing spoon and just added two spoonfuls of almond flour to it. But her batter does not look like mine. Hers is super thick, see? So follow her instructions to the T. Do not do what I did. But I'm hungry and so now look. It smells divine i mean it smells so good so um i still think it's going to taste pretty good but we'll just see i'm just going to take my time and let it cook here's another tip do not walk away do not walk away do not walk away dude these still smell good they're so soft though she specifically said to only cook them three minutes on one side but hers are her batter was so much thicker than mine that let me turn my heat down i'm not gonna cook mine i'll probably cook mine maybe one minute on each side <clears throat> let me take these out of the pan because i feel like i'm burning them up okay i'm not waiting i'm gonna try this right now because i need to know if i wasted my um, ingredients on this batter or not you know and like i said it's probably my fault because i did not follow the instructions i have my chalk zero maple syrup which is the best sugar-free syrup you can get it tastes so good I just want to taste it right now and see if this tastes like anything like. There's the consistency. I mean, the consistency is spot on. Let me see. It's okay. I could use a little bit more sweetness. Maybe next time I'll add some more powdered erythritol. But other than that, it's pretty good. It's not bad. It's not like too eggy. These look better. Right? The color. So, well, I'm going to eat them. I don't know what I'm going to do with the rest of this batter. Maybe I'll save it and try to use it for tomorrow. <coughs> I don't want to waste it. You know, and I'll just eat pancakes for today and tomorrow. Okay guys, here they are. This is gonna be my breakfast. I have one piece of pork belly. I get that from Costco. And the four very, very thin um, pancakes. So 
It's not the best, but hey, it's breakfast. So here's the verdict. These were absolutely disgusting. I they tasted really, really eggy, and I don't I don't like an eggy taste. So I am gonna give the recipe one more try another time and really follow it to a T the way she does it. But this right here, this ain't it. So I'm just gonna throw the mix away and throw this away. And I feel like I'm still gonna be hungry now because all I had was the pork belly, but it's fine. I'm just getting ready to drink my bulletproof coffee. Okay, dinner is served. Here's our roasted chicken, sauteed cabbage, and some um, sweet potatoes. And now I'm gonna mm -hmm. get the gravy. So on Sunday, I cooked dinner for my parents and my husband and my kids. I only ate the roasted chicken and the cabbage. I did not eat the sweet potato, so I just had those two things. I try to, I'm trying to just cook a big meal on Sundays so that we have leftovers for a day or two and then quicker meals during the week. Um, just a few tips though. I have been doing keto for a while and I really know my body really well, so I wouldn't suggest you starting off the bat just having two meals a day like that. You definitely want to work your way up to that, okay? Because if you're feeling hungry, hungry all the time, then you're probably not getting enough of the healthy fats in. Um, and a way to get those fats in is through the chia seeds, through the hemp hearts, through the flax seed, um, real butter, um, avocado oil, avocados, you know, those kinds of, of healthy um, fats you can get from almonds, you know, of course you want to measure that amount because too many nuts is too many carbs, but you know, definitely listen to your body. So if you're feeling hungry all the time, you definitely need to up your fats um, in what you're eating. So that is it for this week. Leave a comment down below and let me know what did you eat last week? What was your favorite meal? I love to get ideas from you guys um, and, and different things for me to try and maybe incorporate in my diet. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you haven't hit that subscribe, subscribe button yet you can tap my picture on the screen and you can also check out my previous video right next to it and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and i'll see you in the next video bye